Please turn on subtitles. There are chapters in this video, so you can skip chapters. I am Taka. Today, I'm in a place everyone looks up to, and that's Tokyo Station, Marunouchi South Exit. This is the Marunouchi main building. Its length is 335 meters. It was designated an important national cultural property in 2003. Tokyo Station is connected to 33 prefectures by rail tracks, and about 3,000 trains come and go per day. Imagine 30 servings of spaghetti noodles. It's about 3,000 noodles. That's the same number of trains that come and go in Tokyo Station. It's unbelievable. I convinced myself to stop visiting, because people around me might find out I'm from a remote area. I came to Tokyo Station to get on an open-air double-decker bus called Sky Bus. On the way to the bus station, I saw a statue of Michael Rich. He's a great rugby player representing Japan. Some people saw it running after midnight. Just joking. Look at that. That one is a sky bus. Staying on the second floor must be nice. This is a bus stop. I bought a ticket online and claimed at the ticket office near the bus stop. I chose a course called Tokyo Tower and Rainbow Bridge course. It costs 1800 yen about 12.4 US dollars, and lasts around 50 minutes. The tour guide provides interesting information using a microphone in Japanese. All the passengers have seats on the second floor. You can see Tokyo Station on the right. This is Gyoko Dori Avenue. The width of the road is 73 meters, similar to Chanzerie Avenue in Paris. Branches with leaves are very close. The wind is pleasant. Many parts of the video have a strong wind sound, so I turned down the volume. This route is breezy, so if you wear a cap for a week, be very careful. We are passing Hibiyadori Avenue. The information sign is so close to your head, so it's thrilling. The outer garden of the Imperial Palace is on the right. That is the National Parliament building. Tokyo Station is 
月の当時の価格で1800万円の投稿費をかけて完成いたしました中央塔の高さは 65.45m ございまして当時の鉄道はかなり高価なものでございます That stylish building is Toranomon Hills. Offices, residences, shops, and restaurants are in the building. That's Tokyo Tower. It's one of the main dishes in this course. Its height is 333 meters. It took three years and eight months to construct, and they finished it in 1958. It was the biggest broadcast tower in Japan until Tokyo Sky Tree was built. I'm looking up, so my neck is painful. Looking up is a hard thing. It's like real life. I feel the signal is taking too long. It's like the three minutes you're waiting for cup noodles to be ready. It's an amazing view. That building is like a mirror, and Tokyo Tower is reflected in it. The building is still under construction, but it will be the highest next year, measuring 330 meters. Currently, the highest building in Japan is Abeno Harukas in Osaka, which is 300 meters. You can see Tokyo Tower again. Goodbye, Tokyo Tower. Shiba Park is on the left.
The bus is getting on the Metropolitan Expressway. The entrance is narrow for the bus, but the good thing, the driver has good skills. The speed of the bus becomes two times faster, and the wind is three times stronger. My face is feeling the breeze. That is the Tokyo Monorail Railroad. The monorail goes to Haneda Airport. Rainbow Bridge comes into sight. Tokyo Skytree is very small from here. Odaiba area is on the right. That building with the sphere is the Fuji Television Building. The Ferris wheel is being demolished because of a regional development strategy. That is Ariake Tennis Park. It's one of the main tennis facilities in Japan. And it's also where the Tokyo Olympics tennis games were held. Many tennis players dream about playing tennis there. That is Ariake Colosseum. The bus is passing Shinonome Canal. You can see Toyos Market on the left. It's a Metropolitan Central Wholesale Market. You can visit there. It's open from 5 a.m. to 3 p.m., except Sundays and Wednesdays. If you can get up early, you'll find good restaurants there. I recommend you to eat fresh seafood, but I've never been there. I just saw some TV programs. That one is the Yurikamome Line. It's a central transportation line linking the city and Toyos area. Trains are automatically operated and stations are unmanned, 
except for a couple of stations. That used to be Olympic Village, but now that area will soon be a wealthy neighborhood called Harumi Flag. The bus is passing by Harumi area. Those three buildings are called the Triple Tower in Harumi Triton Square. That is an anti-earthquake device that absorbs the shaking of buildings. That part expands and contracts. It's also effective against strong winds like typhoons. The bus is entering Kachidoki area. Kachidoki area has been ranked as number one in the most popular towns to live in for three consecutive years. That tall building on the left is Kachidoki View Tower. It consists of a residential area and a shopping complex and is directly connected to Kachidoki Station. Bus is passing by Kachidoki Bridge over the Sumida River. The bus is entering Ginza area. That building is Kabuki the Theater, which was built for Kabuki plays. That's the fifth generation building and it was built in 2013 with the Kabuki the Tower behind it. That's the iconic symbol of Ginza, Wako's Clock Tower. ございますので、この後どこで待ち合いし、左後ろを振り返って見上げていただく。
this building is owned by Hermes. On the top of the building, there's a knight on a white horse raising two scarves. Those are the latest scarves. When one of them is falling, make sure to be quick on your feet, so you can get it before others do. That is a bread train. This is Hibiya area. It used to be a nearet and a hamlet of fishing people. That is the Imperial Theatre built in 1966. You can see famous musical performances there. We are now arriving at the starting point. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope to see you in the next video.